Hello and welcome to this video demonstration of our biometric uh, system integrated with bulk SMS. Uh, let's see how it's going to help uh, our businesses and uh, in schools majorly and uh, how to make work easier and, um, in this technological era. So um, to begin with, we have a software called Atenas Management. So this is the software that uh, usually is used to integrate with the uh, biometric gadgets where you have gadgets and uh, you can have students and maybe teachers or employees enrolled into the biometric gadgets. Uh, so this is the software that connects the, the gadgets. So the gadgets are going to be listed here using the IP addresses and um, whenever the software is on, the gadgets are connected and then the data will be flowing automatically. will be captured this software and then forwarded to our bulk SMS site. So um, this is the work of this software. Maybe we can head straight now to the bulk SMS side. So this is now the bulk SMS side. Uh, it's called the bulk SMS chap chap. So this one have specific people with uh, specific uh, rights to access the software. So after uh, we have put in your credentials, you're able to log into the software. It takes you to this point. So having, uh, let me use a uh, setup of a, of a school an example of our school setup so from this point we have a category here we can go to all the students can be added in this uh, category like in terms of from one from two from three from four or which are maybe even teaching staff and teaching staff we have those categories in the system and then we have members module here all the members can be added in the system so in members in this case will be, will be the students now students will be added using the admission numbers the parents, contacts of their parents and then the student's name. So you can, you can go to see here, so whenever we send a message, you send a message to the parent and refers to the student's name. So we select a student's name, we send a message and then automatically it sends to the message to the parent. So that one makes it easier and um, it avoids confusion now in case when you're sending, you're setting up a, a message, you can go to know exactly you're speaking to a specific student's parent. So um, after now we're adding all the members from this point, the, the system automatically fetches data. Uh, it gives an option of actually setting the results. Since we have the check-in and the check-out of students, check-in when they're coming to school, check-out when they're leaving school, we have several reasons why they could be checking in or checking out of school. So those results can be set here. You can have, we have option of adding more results. You can have an option of actually editing existing reasons can actually be able to update a reason can be able to delete a reason that you don't use anymore and then you can even add more reasons from this point and be able to set whether it is a check-in um, reason or is it a checkout reason so the description here is the message that actually goes to the parent so when a person checks in uh, checks out of school this is the message that goes it will go it will show the name of the student the message that has left the school and then the time and the date and which has left the school and the signature now this signature in this case is the name of the school from where the from which school is the message can be from so after setting up the message here the software automatically fetches data that is coming direct from the gadget as you can see here this is an example so this is the name of the student this is the admission number and this is the parent uh, the, the contacts of the parent as we have been setting the system so it automatically pick the data from the gadget show, showing the date and the time that the person will be able to check in or check out as we are able to see here at the type of it a check in or check out and then the reason also that uh, was has been set to, to pick from that point. So it also shows the status of the message here. The message has been sent, but the message has not yet been sent. So it um, it picks this that automatically from the software that we have seen earlier in the beginning of this video. So when uh, now the logs are picked from this point, uh, we have another module here now which now converts those logs to to messages. And this is an example on how they look like. So this is uh, an example of a student who has just checked out of school. So it can it carries the name of the student. Like for example, this is the name of the student up to here that will be such sales line one this is the name of the student an example that i've used this is the number of the parent of this student as you can see so this is the, the number of the parent where the message will go it automatically picks the name of the student and then the message that has been set has been used from school and then from here this the system automatically assigns it the time and the date automatical system assigns and it picks a signature from where is it coming from so this is how the message will go as you can see the message we had already set has been released from school but all this the system automatically attaches it to that message can actually have some sales so this is automatically assigned automatically immediately when a, a student checks in or checks out at the school and this one will help uh, the parents and um, or the guardians to be able to know of where both of their students so whenever the person uh, a student is released from school automatically the parents knows that 
he has been released from school. When he gets to school, the parents know that uh, at what time their, their child has been able to arrive at school. So um, on top of the uh, automatic messages, the um, functionality the system also gives uh, the school or an institution or any type of business an opportunity of sending other type of messages. We are able to see here, we have a general SMS here. We are able to, to feed the number, the contacts as um, you may be having them, separate them just a comma, type the message here that you want to be sent and then send the SMS to automatically go to all the numbers that you have put here. That is under general SMS. We have another option of customized SMS. Customized SMS, uh, we are able to send to a specific person in the system. So we have a specific contact and then send, uh, for example, it's a disciplinary message. Uh, you want to send to a parent that their student have maybe done something wrong in the school. Just select the name of the student there, type the message, and then when you send the message, it will go specifically to their parent. Only the parent will receive that one. The next option we have is um, group SMS. As you can remember here, we had created some groups and then added members. We added them to, the, to the, those groups. And then from this point, we can actually be able to send a specific message now to the members of that group. I'll give an example. Let's say, for example, we have academic message or academic uh, clinic or academic day for maybe, let's say, for months. So we can be able to come here and select a group, let's say, for, for it's from two students, one to talk to parents we want to talk to and then add the message here when we're reminding them of their um, for example academic clinic and then come here and send sms to automatically send this message to all the parents of the from two students as long as all the members are being added in that group and it will send all um, it will send the same message to all the members in that group so that that is um uh, the bulk sms functionality we're able to see it's a very easy thing to use and on top of that you can actually be able to send other messages like for example fee areas or let's say for example you want to send um results the system also gives you that option we're able to have a exam template uh, bearing the results the name of the students and the the contacts of the parent and then can actually be able to uh, send them in bulk you can have an option of uploading the, the document here it gives us from selecting which document you want to upload and then you can go to send SMS. Whether the message is already in the document or you can type in the message here, it's all acceptable. And you send SMS, is going to be delivered to all members uh, that are in that contact list. And then on top of that, the system also offers an option of um, for the, the the pocket money. The pocket money management, this is a functionality which helps um, the schools that are uh, have students uh, giving their money for, for example, the clerks or the bus, uh, the pocket money in that case. So in this one is where now we have a specific student depositing money to the bus. Uh, so the bus uh, will just select a transaction, maybe so for example, a deposit, and then select payment, mostly it's going to be cash. Select cash, enter the person who's depositing the money, and then admission number of the beneficiary. Now the beneficiary in this case is the student. Admission number of that student, the amount that has been deposited, and then just post payment. When it does that, and then the system automatically will pick up the message. Um, an example will be this is to inform you that the name of this person here, let's say for example, John John Mwangi, for example, has deposited two thousand for a student admission number this and the name of the students will be attached so now the balance of that uh, student's pocket money is 2000 so that is a message that bearing a deposit notification so the message automatically goes to the parent the next up, uh, thing uh, can be done from this one is when a person and now the student is coming to claim his money so the, uh, the transaction here will be a withdrawal and then of course going to be cash uh, the name of the student and then admission number of that student and the amount that has been withdrawn the same message will go to the parent showing that that the student has withdrawn maybe one thousand from the uh, from the pocket money so now the balance is one thousand so apart from this one tracking uh, the parent be able to track uh, expenditure of the students in school and in terms of pocket money it helps the parent also to be able to know at what time the student is out of pocket money so that they can be able to maybe re send some on top or uh, can be able to actually re, maybe recharge or maybe for example you are supposed to send and then they, are, they still have money this one will help to avoid students having plenty of money in school or maybe suffering from lack of pocket money so this is also an additional feature on, on top of the, uh, the the bulk sms biometric that you have which will actually be able to help the students uh, the, the parents and the school uh, in uh, monitoring the activity of the student so that is uh, for the short of it, actually it has more other features in here, can be actually be trained when um, we are doing that. Uh, another one, maybe the 
uh, the last 